So out again, it's a Friday morning, back on the uh, newest permission on the recently ploughed field. Uh, still looks quite rough, thought I'd uh, settle down a little bit by now, but never mind, we'll go. Weather is absolutely gorgeous, blue skies, can't ask for much better. Conditions, uh, out with the uh, Rutus, Volta 71, uh, we're in dual mode with the Goliath coil on. See what we find. moving but definitely something there so that was an extremely small i thought it was a washer originally but i don't think it is a washer i think it maybe could have been decorative maybe on a bracelet or necklace or something it's very small Let's try clean it later see if there's anything to it uh seems to have some age to it given a patina tiny though so rutus and the goliath mining well like they did last week for that tiny hammered farthing to find the small stuff anyone any thoughts please put it in the comments uh, next up decent signal early hundreds decent line definitely dig it and that's turned out to be what looks like a piece of copper piping that's been crawled or compressed at one end Looks like it's got a thread at this end. I thought it was decorative originally, but I think that's just the thread. So there you go, that could a decent signal. And here's a signal that doesn't need any movement at all. Nice, clear, early hundreds, reasonably straight line. Right, it's flipped out somewhere in this bit of earth. It was about five inches down. There we go. It's uh, yeah, round, got a hole in it. A hole in. Is that a spindle wheel? Maybe? It's heavy, it could be. Uh, there we go. I think that's a, could be a spindle wheel. Certainly heavy and I think lead. Okay, decent. And here we go, next clear signal. So 58, 59 and very straight. See what that is? So that decent signal was a ring, but I think it's more washer type than uh, decorative. Too thin to be decorative. Well, it could be, but I doubt it. But there you go, a ring of some description. So next up, uh, from about six inches down, is this uh, thing. So it's, it's lead. I thought it was a bagsail originally, but it's quite a decorative like, flower pattern for a bagsail. Could be a bagsail, but uh, and it's replicated on the other side. There's something there. See, it's also got some sort of damping around the edge. Um, so I'm not sure what this is. It looks old. It definitely looks old. Um, anybody got any ideas? Please leave in the comments. I'll try an idea and we get a chance. But yeah, interesting. Very interesting. I do love this field. It's uh, relatively quiet for the size of the field. You don't get a lot of trash. Things tend to be things, if that makes sense. So artifacts, artifacts, coins. Um, Pretty good hit rate uh, between the trash and the good stuff. Um, so I just dug this out, it's about uh, six, maybe eight inches down altogether. Uh, I have to kick the top off again. It looks like the maybe a small stopper for something or the end of something. Certainly, again, relatively small. What's well, killing it again today? And uh, yeah, a thing, definitely a thing. So I'm not sure what this one is, but it's. Uh, I think it's rather the modern, but the writing on trade on the top. An EL or something. It's more right in there. Try and clean this up at home, work out what it was. Got a groove in the back, maybe it went on the top of something. There you go. Uh, next decent signal. Hello again. Little scratchy. 
worth a dig and see what it is. So next out, there was a scratchy signal. Wasn't far down, but it was buried deep in uh, quite, quite compact in a clod, so it took a while to find. Um, <clears throat> thin, beaten up, possibly Roman, maybe a button. I'm going to try and clean it later, see if we can get any sort of idea on it. Next up, scratchy but diggable. Let's see what we find. Well, it disappeared from the hole, went over here, thought it was in that pod there, then noticed a little round shape there. So, I think we've got a button on a coin, but look at shape. feel a shank in it. Let me just, uh, it's a bit bad. Let me just uh, see if I can't brush some of that stuff off. Bear with me. And yep, it's the first legitimate uh, and definite coin of the day. So it's uh, George the uh, fifth half penny. Can't quite see the date on it, but uh, it'll clean up. It's not great condition, but it should clean up a little bit better than that. So I'm waxing it. Be all right. And next up, uh, what looks like a fired hit something musket roll. So next decent signal. Total of hundreds, bit scratchy but worth a dig. This is a complete accident. I nearly overbalanced, swung my coil around onto a path that I wasn't really on and I found this. So this will be an accident I'll find a few minutes and use useful. Alright, next uh, out the, oh, so it's still not out, it's in the hole somewhere. One thing that's good about uh, this uh, sort of soil when it's been so uh, dry is uh, find things easy. I don't think I've actually got my um, trowel out once today. Let's see if we can find this one. There somewhere. Oh, you can see. There, corner or something. So, let's see what we got. Okay, uh, looks like a button or a coin. Uh, bent in the middle. See anything on that? Anything distinguishing? Uh, bit bright in the glare. Let me just have a quick look out of the camera so I can see it better. Oh, you might be able to see this on the, on the footage, I can't just see it because that's definitely Queen Victoria's head. Young bun head. You can see that glinting. So, this looks like silver. The size of it, is it sixpence maybe? Some, is that a five on there? Yeah? Uh, all right. It's battered, but it's silver. Victorian. Uh, what was that say? Alright, I'm going to clean this one up. But Later. And next up, a buckle. Gave an absolutely banging signal when blew my ears off. I thought it was a tin can that surface. It was near the surface, but banging signal. Well, I'm just heading back to the car to get some lunch. And another buckle. That's quite old, that one. Another decent signal. Right on the surface as well. There you go. Another buckle.